Hello friends, Osiris here and back with another solo build for the 7 star Venusaur that is now live in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. So shortly after the event itself went live, we put up a video for the best build to solo the Venusaur with. It did feature that chestnut. If you haven't checked it out and you would like to look at the chestnut build, I'll link it up in the top right hand corner as well as in the description below. But we do have another build to feature this morning, just giving you all an alternative option. So first of all, just to say that the event itself is running from the 28th of February, which is as of today until the 5th of March, which will take us into next week. So it'll be next Tuesday when this event finishes. All the standard stuff. This is a move set that you can see for the Venusaur and its nature and things like that. But the big important thing that I wanted to point out for this video is the item drop. So when you repeat this raid, when you go in and beat the Venusaur again after that initial time of catching it, you are going to have the opportunity of getting drops for Herba Mystica, something that we've never had before with the seven star terror raid event. So it is a very good way to farm for Herba Mystica while this event is running. We've got a good amount of time to do it. So take advantage of it. You've got a 3% chance of these Herba Mystica dropping every time that you come in to do the Venusaur after that initial time of completing. Now, if you are doing this event over the weekend to farm for Herba Mystica, it is worth considering setting up a sandwich, which gives you the raid power level two for this raid den, which is gonna give you two extra drops, giving you more chances of getting those Herba Mystica. So big shout out to GeForce V for their comment and the reminder about this, giving us a recipe as well with six noodles, two horseradish, one whipped cream and one chili sauce. That is the sandwich recipe that you're gonna need. That is gonna give you that red power level two for ground type Pokemon and two additional drops every time you complete this terror raid. Now I've got to give a big shout out for the build that we are gonna feature in today's video. Of course, we already have covered the chestnut. Again, check that video out if you'd like to see the build for that one. But as I say, a big shout out to Exia0616 for providing the information on this build. I'd had to do it because it's such an easy one. If you've got Hisu and Gudra in your game, you ported it through from Pokemon Legends Arceus. This is going to be a very easy one. You're going to have no trouble at all. You're not going to take any damage throughout the raid. So I had to feature it. It is a very easy, consistent way to run through the raids and farm for those Herba Mysticas. So we've got the Hisu and Gudra. It has got that steel terror typing, has the held item of the air balloon, going to be level 100. And of course, all of the builds that we feature in today's video will be down in the description below. We've got the move set of Protect, Curse, Jarable, and Iron Head. And then the ability, which is an important one for this one, is going to be that Sap Sipper, giving us complete immunity to all grass type attacks with an EV spread of 252 in HP and then 252 in attack with a brave nature. That is what we need to have on this Hisu and Kudra. Like I say, all the information will be down in the description below. We'll jump into the raid now and I'll show you how easy it can be to do this raid with the Hisu and Gudra and probably maybe even a little bit quicker than the Chestnut. Definitely a little bit more reliable. Also, just a side note, if you are needing the air balloon item, head to Kaskarefa North and then from here, you're going to want to head to the convenience store, which is the Delibird Presents store right here. And inside here is where we're going to be able to pick up the air balloon item so you can use it on this Gudra. It is going to be under battle items and it should be just down the list here. The air balloon, it is pretty pricey, but you should have enough money at this point in your game to be able to pick it up. And that is how you're going to be able to get the item for the Gudra this weekend. So when you come into the raid, you're going to see that turn zero. The Venusaur is going to set up a sunny day. It is going to set up a growth and it is going to fire off a petal blizzard. The nice thing about pursuing Gudra though is that it has a complete immunity against everything that the Venusaur can throw out at us as long as that air balloon item is intact. If we take any damage throughout the raid, that air balloon could get popped and then we'll be susceptible to those earth powers. So there is a key turn throughout this raid we need to pay attention to. We'll get to that in a moment. But after the Venusaur has done all of its work to set up this turn zero, fire off the Petal Blizzard, we're going to start attacking with our Iron Head because we're going to chase that terrestrialization as well as the turn where it nullifies our stats and abilities on our side of the field. And it's only going to do that once in this raid. So that is a really important one. It's going to be pretty early on when it does that. But for the first three turns, just fire off those Iron Heads and 
to the point where it is going to be doing that nullifying those stats and abilities on our side of the field and it'll also set up its shield as well which then allows us to kind of set up for the rest of the raid so you can see it is getting itself set up but with the sap zipper we've got a complete immunity to any grass type attacks with the steel typing we're immune to the poison type attacks and with the air balloon we have the immunity to the ground type attacks as well so you can see here i'm going to fire off this third iron head and this should put us in a position where we do see that venus saw nullify the stats and abilities on our side of the field and this is what we're looking for so this is a real key turn in this raid this is where we need to go for the protect if it uses a grass type attack here it will be able to hit us that sap zipper is nullified for this turn only and it will be meaning that we are going to be susceptible to those earth powers for the rest of the raid making it very difficult for us to actually execute our strategy so we're going to see after that the shield set up and then we spend the next six turns going for our curses so that's what we're going to do here we'll use that curse six times it's going to boost our attack and our defense by one stage every time you use it and lower our speed as well at the same time so we want to use six of those get us down to minus six speed plus six in attack and defense to set us up for the rest of this raid so we'll skip forward six turns until we've got those set up and that is our final curse set up there with plus six on attack and defense minus six speed and if we look at the venusaur here it is all set up itself but we're in a great position now to start firing off these gyro balls and we'll be able to do some really good damage with the setup complete the raid timer is still in a good position as well so we've got plenty of time to run through this raid and like i say you're not going to have to worry about taking any damage as long as you get that key turn right where you go for the protect just in case it goes for an attack to break that air balloon otherwise you're going to be free to just hit that terrestrialization button at this stage once you've got those six curses set up and then fire off the gyro balls and you'll be able to see here it is quite good damage now the only other thing to mention throughout this raid is your raid partners now there are four raid partners i would suggest you try and stay away from maybe even five that i would try and stay away from going into this raid with gudra now this is a bit of a caveat of course because it can be difficult sometimes you're always going to get those not all of them are the big ones but i would say the main ones to try and avoid are going to be the Corviknight, the haxorus and the Gorganical, they all have ways in which they can lower the speed of Venusaur. It's going to weaken the power of your Gyro Ball. So you want to try and avoid raid partners with those. So the Corviknight, like I say, the Haxorus, they have Scary Face. And the Gorganical has Rock Tomb. They can all lower the speed on the Venusaur. The other ones to kind of try and stay away from are maybe Dunsparce. It does have Glare. And also the Belly Bolt as well, which does have Discharge. It can paralyze. So they're the ones that I would say to stay away from. Otherwise, you're going to be fine. None of the other raid partners have ways in which to lower the speed. And you can see once that shield is broken, you're going to be able to run through this raid very quickly with these gyro balls. It's not a super effective attack, but because of the power that you've got behind you, the setup that we already have access to with the Gudra, you're not going to be threatened by taking... And like, we've taken no damage throughout this raid, and you're not going to take any damage throughout this raid. You're just going to be literally able to fire those off. Again, make sure that you have PP max your gyro balls just in case you need to because we are coming down to the last gyro ball here it is very important that you pp max those to make sure that you've got enough to get you through this raid of course you're going to have the iron head to kind of fall back on but you don't really want to have to rely on that at the end of the raid when you can just do it like that and we ended off with a nice critical hit and plenty of time left on the raid timer as well and it is as easy as that friends you're going to have a really easy time if you have access to Hisui and gudra in your copy of scarlet and violet this is a really good one for you to run through we've got the raid power active do we get any extra drops they will be at the bottom no not this time but never mind we do get two extra drops so we can now just farm through these raids and hopefully get a lot of herba mystica throughout the weekend while this event is running i think the herba mystica additional drops that we get really give you an incentive to go after this raid and run through it as much as possible of course if you do want to respawn the dens after you've beat it because you only get one on your map at a time come into your home menu then into system settings down in to system then into date and time make sure your synchronized clock via the internet is off click into date and time toggle through hit okay and then come into the home menu again and all your dens will respawn and you'll see oh there we go right next to us so you can head over to it and then just repeat this process take full advantage of those raid powers that you do have access to we'll be able to pull those up and show you that we've still got a little bit of time left on ours so we'll be able to get over to that raid take advantage of it while we can and um, but if you need to set them up again you've got plenty of time just to set them up 
and then run through the raids for 30 minutes. Remember, when you're doing the date skip, it doesn't reset the sandwich path. So you can take advantage of those for as long as they are active. So friends, that is everything for today's video. A bit of an update there with another alternative build that you can take into these raid events over the weekend and some extra information about farming the Herba Mystica, getting those two extra drops on each raid when you're going into it. Makes it a lot more likely to get those Herba Mysticas every time you do farm through these Venusaurs. So I hope you have a lot of fun with this event when it's running. Like I said, we've got till next Tuesday to take advantage to it. So plenty of time to farm those Herba Mysticas and hopefully Blastoise, which is the next raid in line after the Venusaur, follow suit with those Herba Mystica drops as well. And maybe even the Charizard that is returning after that to give us the final three of these seven star raid events that are being announced on Pokemon Day. So if you've enjoyed the video, friends, do drop a like, do subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with all of our Pokemon Scarlet and Violet content. And I'll see you all in another video very soon. So until then, friends, take care of yourselves and bye-bye.